We're going to be looking at The Children's Moon by Carmen Agrediti and illustrated by Jim LaMarche. So I want to just kind of flip through and look at a few of the moon's faces. Notice her wide mouth. She's got more of a realistic nose. Her eyes are looking down in that one. Oh, this one, she's a little sad. She's feeling blue. Notice how blue she is. She's got a lot of blue and white. Her eyes are looking down or closed. Here she's looking up. She's kind of bluish and white. Here she's kind of blue, white, and pink, looking up. Here she's a little more golden-y. And she's smiling. Ooh, here she's a little bit green. Notice how she's reflecting on the Aurora Borealis. So you are gonna pick an expression for your moon. I think I'm gonna try to do this one looking down at the children. Most of the times the moon is just the moon, the circle. On this one, this page, it says she glided away in a shimmering trail of moon dust and she has this little trail. So if you want to do that to your moon, you can. Um, if not, you don't have to. I'm gonna start out with my pencil and my cardboard and I'm gonna trace a circle. And it doesn't really matter where you put your circle unless you're gonna do a glimmering trail of moon dust, then you might wanna think about it. So I'm gonna do my moon looking down at the children. And the first thing I'm gonna do are, I'm gonna do the upper lid where it's kind of curved. So there's a little line going down and then this has a little curved line. And colored pencil really does not erase very well. So you um, need to be brave if you're doing this or just go lightly. And then under this little part of the eye is also curved. So I'm just gonna go and curve up and back around. And then inside the iris is a little circle inside there. So I'm gonna do the little circle lines for that. And I'm gonna add the little highlight. I'm gonna leave that white and then I can add the darker part, the pupil. Okay, so there's my eye. So now for the nose, um, to build a more realistic nose like this, you wanna start with a little curved line. And then on the sides, right down here, it's another little curved line going up. And then if you want to, you can connect part of the nose. and I'm gonna connect it to the middle part. In this one, it's not really drawn with pencil, it's just chalk, or it is lightly colored colored pencil on the side, but not a defined line. On this one, it's a little bit of a defined line on one side, and it goes over to the side. So it's up to you. You can have your little line going to the middle or to the side, it's fine. Okay, now for the mouth, I'm gonna give her a nice wide smile. And She's got a little dimple right here. You could put little lines at the end of your mouth. And then you can do the lips. The lips are like an M shape. And then the bottom is like a circle. So you can do any type of expression. You can do a bigger smile. I'm gonna add some eyebrows. And that's really all it is to her face. Now, I went kind of light, but if you wanna go over the lines darker, now that you have it, you can. You could take a minute and color in the iris, or I mean the pupil and the iris. And you can use different colors instead of just the same like I am, it's up to you. Okay, now that I have the face blocked in, you can go ahead and get out your chalk pastels and start coloring. And I'm using cool colors, so blue, purple, you could maybe use some green, you could use pink for the cheeks if you want. She does have, she's a very rosy cheeked little moon. I like how she, in this, she's got dark spots and white spots and kind of patchy and has some pink. So I'm gonna do my moon like that. 
If there's parts you haven't colored in with your colored pencils, you can do that with your um, pastels too. If you wanna do, for the background, a dark night sky, you could put stars in. If you wanted to do the glimmering trail of moon dust, you could do that. If you wanted to put maybe a tree or something like that in, you can, or um, if you wanna have her being the children's mood during the day with a lighter sky, you could do that. The main thing to think about with chalk pastels is if you want to do a fine line, you're gonna do the tips. Like if I wanted to color in her eyebrows, then I'm gonna use the tip. But if I wanna color in a larger area, like if I wanna shade this side of her face, then I wanna use the side of the chalk pastel. So I'm gonna start out just coloring a little bit of her face. And then, see how there's all this extra powder on your paper? I'm gonna take one or two fingers and I'm gonna start to blend in all this chalk. And you want to make sure that you're going on purpose. Wherever you go with your finger, think about it like you are going somewhere with a pencil because it's gonna be adding new marks and lines. So you don't wanna scribble up and down and blend across this eyebrow because that would destroy the eyebrow, but you could go up next to it. And you're just gonna wanna spread as much of that little bit of chalk that you put down on your the rest of your paper. And that's how you get the even lighter shades. So notice like I didn't have anything around this, but now I've spread it around my finger and I have an even lighter blue. Okay, now that I've done that, I can look at it and see if I like it, if I wanna add a little more blue anywhere, a little more darker colors anymore, and you can go back in and add a little bit more if you want and blend as you go. So now I'm gonna go through with my white and I'm gonna to try to add a little more um, white highlights and they don't show up really well like if you want it to show up really bright you need to plan for it when you first are getting started and leave those but you can kind of see how the white is changing it and it, it looks a little lighter and so if you want to do your background with stars which is I think what I want to try a dark background with stars I'm gonna leave spots open for the stars because I want them to shine brighter than how this moon is shining with the white so my paper's gotten pretty dirty because I put my chalk pastels right on there, but that's okay. I'm just going to scooch them off. You guys can just leave yours in the bucket and you'll probably have better luck. And I'm going to do, um, plan for some white spots. And you know what? You could even to make it easy on yourself, you could circle, let's see how this works. Circle some spots for stars to remind yourself to keep that open. And then I'm going to fill everything else in with dark color. One other little tip, I think I'm going to start at the top and move my way down. Um, if you start at the bottom and move your way up, your hand's going to be dragging through the whole thing. So since I'm going to be doing something dark, I'm going to start on my way up and move down. So you guys can see how I've kind of layered it. You can see I didn't really fill everything in and then I use my finger to fill it in and how kind of it's fun to have some of those black squares and little squiggles of the blue and the little starbursts and the empty spaces just of white. The white chalk pastel is a lot more dirty than <laughs> the white of the paper so that's something to think about too. But I hope you guys have so much fun making a children's mood or a regular nighttime moon.